holy crap, lots of news to get into. I mean, news coming in from all over the place. I'm trying to make these videos shorter than what I usually do. And it's been very difficult, especially with so many important things to break down outside of the fear, intimidation, distraction, and divide and conquer paradigm that usually mainline mainstream society plays in, which we don't. And one of the reasons why we don't Play that is because we're supported by you with small individual one-time donations on wearechange.org forward slash donate. The link will be in the description and your support continues these videos to be free and for you every single day. Now let's just jump right into it because it's been a very, very, very busy day. And the first story that I of course wanted to talk about is just more surprising news from the story of the decade, and that is the international government-connected child trafficking ring surrounding, of course, Jeffrey Epstein. And today, we got news from the federal prosecutors in New York that are still investigating this case that they are calling for Prince Andrew, which some have renamed the Pinocchio Pedo Prince, to be interviewed a part of their investigation. And this should be a surprise, according, especially to the people watching mainstream media, especially to the people who uh, were watching when Prince Andrew officially stated that he would be complying with the investigation and voluntarily going to the FBI and giving them as much information as he could. And, uh, surprise, 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 uh, Pinocchio <laughs> Prince, as he's been dubbed, didn't do any of that, as he promised that weeks ago. And now federal prosecutors are revealing that, quote, he has provided zero cooperation, has been very uncooperative during this bombshell press conference that just happened moments ago, specifically citing the many incidents where Prince Andrew has not returned the phone calls of federal prosecutors. Now, this story definitely deserves to go out there because it not only shows this overly sweaty, nervous, good friend of one of the biggest notorious pedophiles in the world, this directly contradicts what he was promising to do and if there ever should be any scrutiny about the royal family uh this should be the case about it not other members taking a break for the fan that again that's all is a major distraction against the bigger case here that of course is surrounding jeffrey epstein and the larger intelligence connected extortion racket according to many that was happening here with thousands of children that were abused during this scandal now very interestingly it is also important to note that prince andrew has diplomatic immunity and law enforcement officials in the united kingdom have said publicly even though there's evidence even though there's witnesses even though there's victims coming forward that the UK authorities are not interested in investigating Prince Andrew, are not even interested in interviewing Prince Andrew, and are not interested in looking into this case and haven't looked into this case. So this is what the British police and authorities have publicly said, which again should piss everyone off since, again, there's a lot of information against Prince Andrew. And now with this latest information from U.S. federal prosecutors, it will be fascinating to see if there will be an official response. Now, of course, the more public pressure, the more likelihood of an official response, which is needed here. Will Prince Andrew testify? No, he, he definitely won't, mainly because he's guilty. He's, he's in the court of public opinion, a man with his hand in the cookie jar, to say the least. So I definitely... Sadly, do not see this going anywhere unless there's more pressure, which I strongly think there should be. This is why this is the lead story. This is why you should share this video. This is why we should make this more of an issue because your voice actually matters. There's a lot of bull crap and hooey out there telling you, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. These guys are, no, 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 no. Your voice absolutely matters as we've been documenting for years. 
on this independent media organization. Now, in related news to viruses on human civilization, we, of course, have the latest updates about the coronavirus, which is having a detrimental effect on the world economy, as we specifically talked about in yesterday's video, which is, by the way, a very important video questioning the whole bat soup theory, which I definitely recommend you should watch. But we talked about also the larger geopolitical economic effects. And obviously, they're going to be vast. And obviously, they're going to be increasing from here. As many scientists are saying that the cat is already out of the bag. And that even all the very heavy-handed efforts by China are very unlikely to be effective now with this virus spreading. Some scientists fearing the worst with simulations. Talking about millions hundreds of millions of people affected by this and it looks like a lot of the blame is being put on the local government which uh you know i see some people celebrating but we have to understand here the way that the chinese government and authorities especially the top down huge bureaucratic system that exists in in china uh the blame here is not just on the local governments it's also on the big beijing government that again was arresting people who were warning people about this virus all the way in december journalists who literally filmed the wet market where this allegedly all came from had their pictures and videos deleted and were imprisoned for telling you about this videos photos eyewitness testimony from wuhan and other parts of china are being automatically deleted and a lot of the information is still being censored and this is why we should always be prepared for the worst especially when it deals with a chinese government that usually passes on the blame to lower level officials never takes responsibility and is more concerned with arresting people who are telling you what's happening than of course having any serious accountability now personally i've been looking into the story very closely especially with all the latest updates and um it doesn't look too good again uh, we shouldn't fear monger we shouldn't be afraid here but we should always be prepared for the worst but there are some circumstances that do make this situation uh exceptional especially with uh you know doctors in china following mao zedong medical practices uh instead of modern medicine especially you know doctors in china not being known for washing their hands not even using gloves people with the virus being sent home especially patient zero and of course with uh, many doctors saying that they are getting bad safety equipment and that they are not properly equipped to handle this and if the doctors go down who's gonna treat all the patients and again this is something following very closely stay tuned for more updates on this channel regarding the situation unfolding there all of this on the backdrop of the cdc revealing that they are investigating 110 possible cases of coronavirus here in the united states also here in the united states former national security advisor war hawk chief neoconservative monster john bolton is trending number one on twitter gaining wide support from the establishment mainstream media top line democrats and anyone with trump derangement syndrome as of course it came out that john bolton in this time is working on a book and again the timing here couldn't be any more perfect especially with the impeachment hearing that alleges that donald trump regarding the ukraine phone call that this impeachment trial is over did ask for a quid quo pro saying specifically that he was present when donald trump used the quote bait of ukrainian aid to demand, of course, an investigation on Joe Biden. Now, allegedly, this has blindsided many GOP senators, while, of course, the ongoing impeachment proceedings have been put in question to how they will proceed from here, whether there will be witnesses or if this whole impeachment circle should be extended somehow. And again, the main accusation here is that 
According to Bolton, Donald Trump did not want to to release the nearly $400 million in aid to Ukraine until, of course, the country agreed to help with investigations into his, quote, political rivals, which, of course, Donald Trump is strongly denying. And uh, the timing of this couldn't be uh, more interesting, to say the least. Trump is, of course, saying that John Bolton is just trying to sell books after a, quote, $2 million deal, that the accusations are false. And now we have the battle between the former reality TV star and a cold-blooded warmongerer with no empathy whose actions cost the lives of countless of individuals on this planet. So yeah, as this political theater unfolds, it will be interesting to see what will happen. But it looks like Donald Trump is continuing in policy laid forth by the neoconservatives by also recently announcing that him and the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, will be announcing a plan for peace in the Middle East. The announcement will be made tomorrow. It does not include uh, any Palestinian leadership, nor, uh, as we know, um, as of now, any, any leadership from any other country in the Middle East except for the United States and Israel, and that most likely will create big backlash. As already, there's a lot of backlash in the powder keg landscape that, of course, is the Middle East, as the Taliban is claiming now that it shot down a U.S. military plane that crashed in Afghanistan. Now, with some of the photos and videos emerging, it is still unclear whether they were able to do this or whether there was a mechanical mistake, which, of course, the U.S. military is saying. But we're going to be examining this story very closely as, of course, um, it develops as attacks still continue on the embassy in Baghdad with the latest information coming that there has been more missiles luckily no casualties but three rockets that did hit the U.S. embassy just moments ago and from all the previous actions by Donald Trump that were made jointly with Netanyahu definitely expect more controversy and turbulence in the Middle East because of it. The announcement is tomorrow. We might actually do a live stream of it just to break it down as it's unfolding, as well as showing you a map of the region, explaining everything that happens because, um, yeah, yeah, uh, special interest governments, corporations, and the mainstream media lie to you all the time. This is why it's important to look for outside sources. And sincerely, thank you for doing that yourself. Thank you for watching and supporting independent media. Stay tuned for more. Without you, I wouldn't be here. And this is why I say love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.